Hi guys. So the hubby and I are officially all moved into our new place. I was going to try and record today what everything looks like now that everything is all moved in. But of course, the one time it's cloudy in Arizona and the lighting is not good except for right here in front of the window is today. This is the view outside the window. It's all gray and dark. But I will try to get some footage of the place for you guys and show you a little bit of what it looks like. But I'm really excited for this weekend because my mom and her fiance went out of town. So my husband and I have to, not have to, we are blessed with the opportunity <laughs> to dog sit my favorite dog ever. His name is Leonidas. We call him Leo for short. He is the sweetest, sweetest, giant dog in the world. He used to be my mom and I's dog when I was in college because I lived at home during college and we raised him since the time he was only three and a half months old. But when I graduated and moved out, he officially became my mom's dog. But besides dog sitting Leo, we're also driving out to my dad's house and taking him out for his, for Father's Day because that's coming up this weekend. And we're gonna try to read and let you know what we're liking. I can see his paws. <laughs> Leo! Yes. Bless you! Good boy! Good boy! Hi Leo! Look how cute you are! Oh, yes! Are you gonna help us bring stuff inside? Or you don't want to go outside? What do you think? Yes! Good boy! Good boy! Yay! Good boy! Hugs! Hugs! Put your head down! Yes! You're such a good boy. Watch what happens when we ask Leo about food. Are you hungry, Leo? <laughs> All full now. So I have a new Kindle. It's bigger and I don't know. An HD. I'm reading Batman and Son by Grant Morrison. I already read it, but we're we're dog sitting. <laughs> and your mother doesn't have Wi-Fi right now, so I'm stuck reading what's You're on here. Forced to. I'm forced to reread. Well, I mean, I was gonna read this anyways, but I was in a frenzy this morning trying to quickly download anything. It's such a very a big burden. problem. This is a Kindle Fire ten. <laughs> As for what I've been reading, I've been going back and forth between the fourth book and the Seven Realm series, which I'm definitely enjoying. And then A City of Brass, which is an adult fantasy book. This one's YA. And City of Brass so far, it's not that there's nothing happening. Uh, there's definitely stuff going on, but it just kind of feels slow. I'm only 150 pages in, but it's definitely interesting. I just think there's a lot of prep right now and that it's leading up to some exciting stuff. I have to say though, I'm not really a fan of the audiobook for this one. I love the narrator for this one's audiobook. This one, I feel like either the main character is kind of dumb or the narrator makes her dumb. Like she makes her sound kind of stupid. So we'll see. I feel like if I read her lines a certain way, she doesn't come across dumb, but the way the narrator does her is it's like, why would I do this to the person that like just saved her and is telling her to do something? And she's just like, but why? And it's like, girl, what are you doing? Just like, listen to the person helping you. Good morning, Leo. How was your night? Oh, you're not ready for it to be over, huh? Leo? Happy Father's Day. Hey! <laughs> Do you need me to turn on the light so you can see it? No. Very, very, very cool. I'll turn the light on myself. Oh, I told you I could have done it. Uh, yeah. Well, you girls just know how to pick out good cards. <laughs> Leaves us guys in the wind, don't it? <laughs> well, thank you. Very, very, very oh, no. nice. <laughs> Did you pick it out, Charlie? Yeah. No, he didn't. <laughs> I think I did. Yes, he did. He just told me. I helped. He helped. I was there. <laughs> was yeah. it good? Very good. Yeah? Okay, good. Yeah. The company was great, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> just the three of us? Howdy. So you look over here. You're supposed to look over there. Where, like this little dot? That's where you're supposed to look. <laughs> what are your thoughts on modern technology? I have none. Yeah. It's done.
look, you brought us your toy. Thank you for the toy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, handsome. Do you want to go for a walk? <gasps> Do you want to go for a walk? <sighs> Yay! Should we get your leash? Come on. Let's go get it. All right, show me where you're... Oh, are you being a good boy? Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me get your leash for you. So I finished Batman and Son. It's very good. If you want to read Bonkers Crazy Batman, where he teams up with Batman wannabes from other countries, and there's a murder mystery, and he has hallucinations where he talks to a miniature version of himself called Batmite, this is a Batman for you. So this is one of Bruce Wayne's hallucinations. There's Batmite, as you can see right there. I feel like I'm underselling this. It is really good, but it is also bizarre. So we're packing up some stuff, getting ready to head back home, and Leo, as a result, is very sad about it. Aww. <laughs> Bye, handsome. Bye, love you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Bye, baby. Your other mommy will be home later today, okay? Love you. Bye now. Bye. Yeah, sorry. Hey guys, so I'm back at my house now. I had to leave cute little Leo back at my mom's because she'll be home today. But I figured now that it's not so cloudy, it would be a good chance to show you guys our house. So I wanted to start with the outside just because we have such a nice tree right outside our front door with a really nice walking path behind it. But anyway, giving you guys a little heads up about the inside. The bottom floor is interesting in that most of the living space is upstairs. So as you can see, you walk in and it's kind of just a hallway. The first door to the right here leads to the first main room. This is our guest room. It's also the room that I teach some of my private violin students out of. You can see our pretty tree from the window, but it's also just got a nice little sitting space. It's kind of one of my favorite rooms in the whole house just because I feel like it's so cozy and quaint. Back out in the hallway, we have this door that's straight on from the main door, but that just leads to the garage and the laundry room, which nobody cares about. So <laughs> the door over in the corner leads to a little bathroom. I actually really like this setup. If we ever have guests, there's even a shower in this downstairs bathroom. So it kind of feels like our guests have their own little hotel room that's separate from the living space upstairs. That's basically it though for the downstairs. Like I said, it's kind of strange floor plan but we love it it works perfect for us because that downstairs is basically a studio for my teaching but then we head on upstairs to the main living space i might have to say this is the favorite room in the house for me i absolutely love this upstairs i love how open it is and when you open all those windows you get so much natural light it's just so pretty and airy and we were able to put our bookshelves in the main room which was super fun for us I really love having this little table under the window. This is what it looks like outside the window. And by the way, that little table came from a secondhand furniture store, as did our couches, which I'd have to say, if you're ever in the market for new furniture, don't actually get brand new, just get secondhand because it's cheaper and it's more charming, I think. And then just behind the couches are our bookshelves. If you guys wanna see an updated bookshelf tour, let me know. But anyway, swinging on over to the left is our kitchen. We are planning on eventually painting the kitchen and maybe maybe making it look a little different eventually so I'll fill you guys in on that when it comes and then now going back through this little hallway is one of our bathrooms this is technically the master bathroom I actually love this room I feel like I love every room in this house but anyway past that then is the master bedroom apparently it used to be two bedrooms and they tore a wall down and made into one giant master bedroom. So we've got our bed and our nightstands and some lights. Obviously you can see all of that yourself. Uh, over here, 
But that's just half the room. When you turn over to the right is the other half of the room. And this is kind of our little office space. Once again, secondhand, that orange chair we actually got for free because somebody didn't want it. So we took it and we love it. It is so, so cozy. Anyway, thanks so much for letting me get to show you guys around our new place. Thank you so much for all the support you've shown us. All that said, my husband and I are very aware that we are very, very fortunate to live in a nice place, to have had the opportunity to go to school, to have the jobs that we have, and to just have a home. I know that is not the case for everybody out there. There are so many people that are dealt a different hand in life and often that different hand is uh, a less fortunate one. So I wanted to take this chance to not only share in our excitement with all of you our own home but to also acknowledge that there are so many people out there who don't have homes and there could be things to do about that. I recently found this organization called DePaul International. It unfortunately doesn't work absolutely everywhere in the world, but it works to help people who are homeless throughout multiple countries. The hubby and I, we donated a little bit. I will leave a link down below to the website if you're interested in donating. I know that just mentioning donations and stuff like that can be extremely awkward and I haven't conquered <laughs> the awkwardness of it yet, but I just figured, you know, we're sharing in, in this wonderful thing in our life of having a home and I know that for a lot of people it's just a reminder that they don't have a home or that they know people who don't have a home or that there are so many people in the world who don't have homes so I figured it would be a nice thing to mention. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the vlog there. Sorry that it wasn't a lot of reading. It wasn't all that book centered. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for always being so nice and so supportive and I'll see you later. Bye.